so today i am going to help you to fix this tablet i actually searched through the internet and was looking for the firmware but i did not find any and i also think that i had also sent the company an email to get some solution on fixing this so we are going to flash this tablet so let's go so guys after wandering and wandering and trying i actually fixed the issue you can see that the tablet is now charging it's at it's at two percent and it's charging there and we fixed the issue but the way we fix the issue we use the software it's not free it's a licensed software we were able to back up the system files from a new tablet in which I did so I use this new tablet and I back up the firmware on this tablet and I flash it with this corrupt tablet right so I am going to show you the procedure in which we did so I am going to plug in the USB cable software should detect that our device is connecting so as you can see the auto detect is detecting the CPU chip which is M T6765 so guys you can see that the tablet is detected and you can see it says cloud t1 elite if your tablet still have problems it might detect as mtk device mtk 8765 right so with the software we have a few features in which we can do so we have auto detect features we also have advanced so if you go here you can store or restore backup so what we can do here now we can restore our tablet by using the firmware that i have i have the firmware in this folder here so this is the firmware here i can just open it to show you so it's right here and if we want to start we can hit the start button here and it will restore the firmware for us these are all the files in which are on my backup firmware as you can see including all the system files and this is the firmware the extracted cloud zip and guys you can go right ahead and you can fix your tablet if you like me to do this for you it's possible we can do usb over internet you will have to contact me with the details in my video description and i can get this done for you also what i am going to do as well i am going to give you the rom file my backup rom file this one this can be very helpful to you so yeah i'll try and put this in my video description guys we are going to try and turn on the tablet This is after we fix it. This is the first time we are attempting to turn this on. And it's not turning on. I'm thinking that we don't have sufficient power to turn on the tablet. It's at 3%. Normally it should turn on. So I am going to give it some more charge and then we're going to try and turn it on. Yeah. The battery is depleted. It's at three percent and should turn on. So So guys the tablet is on and everything is working. I do have to verify to see if the IMEI number is the same. So guys the tablet is taking forever to boot on so what we're going to do we're going to do a factory data reset and now we are going to reboot the device so guys if it happens that you flash your tablet and you realize that hey this is taking way too long you want to just do a factory data reset to speed up the process 
actually i realized that it was taking more than 10 minutes it was just stuck on the screen so we just did a factory data reset it was successful and you can naturally see that the second screen came on so we are seeing some progress here i'm actually doing the entire video so that you can see the challenges that i experienced along the way the device only turns on at five percent and i think this is because it have to unfold the firmware system it have to extract the files in the tablet system for you for it can be used so as you can see we are making some progress here and they should take a few minutes shouldn't take that long but the first one was taking very long very very long and i just decided to use the volume down the power button to restart the device and then i hold the volume up to go into the recovery mode so now we are waiting the second screen to extract the system files and the apps that we will be using like play store and the different settings and the interface of the device so yeah so guys here we are it took a, a, a about five minutes or so uh guys we are looking lovely we are looking lovely here and the device is fixed so yeah I want to make sure to like this video and also support the channel uh, so I can put more time and more effort in doing these type of useful content for you guys uh one thing i'm looking at i am going to look at the imei in the setting to see if anything change and the imei number is 3679 let's see if we have that at the back no so it's change so guys the imei number is changed and this is the backup imei that is on the system so it's like we clone our tablet so guys, it's working perfectly and if I want to change back the IMEI, I can do so using the same software, which I am going to do. As you can see, the IMEI number is at the back, 4273. So guys, you are successful and I'll appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and supporting the channel by hitting the bell. Bye-bye.